Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, if you don't already know. I do things, so just join the fun. I am going to do a video about scoliosis today. I've had scoliosis for a while. It's nothing that you should be like, oh my gosh, she's going to die, because I'm not. I'm, I'm literally so fine. It is actually amazing that this is the only thing that I can say that I have. In case you're unfamiliar with it, scoliosis is when your spine is not aligned correctly. I have had a mildish case of it, so it wasn't even that big of a deal. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. My spine was a squiggly, and I guess that's not supposed to happen, so we changed it. A little less than halfway through seventh grade, I was gifted this ugly back brace. Let me just say before I start talking, I promised myself I would film this video and I would put it on YouTube so that I could tell everybody about all of the struggles I went through with this thing. This thing that I hate so much. So I'm actually going to show you how I put it on. It took me a while to figure out how to actually get it on because this here, it's like bendable plastic. I put my arms like this and then I pry it apart and then you just kind of fasten it. And I will say one thing, it made my waist like so much thinner, like that, opposed to like that. And just for the record, I would wear this all day at school and all night. I don't know if you could see those little marks right there, but that is where it is supposed to be fastened. That's how tight it's supposed to be, and it's pretty tight. It's very tight. It's like a one of those corset things that they used in the olden days. Back here you can see that my butt is hanging out very obviously. Can you see that? I just want to point that out. Although it made my waist a little thinner, I couldn't run in it without feeling like I was going to pass out. I couldn't sit crisscross applesauce on the floor. I had to sit on my knees and I could only do that for so long before I, I just, my legs went numb and I couldn't feel them anymore so I had to stand up. The point of this is it's supposed to not only push your back kind of in the position that your spine needs to be in so that the bone doesn't keep growing worse like during the day and at night when you're sleeping because that's when you grow most but it's also to kind of fix your posture so in order for me to conceal this brace 100% without anybody knowing that it's there I have to do this my shoulders have to be back and as soon as I start slouching people go Amy what's what's behind your back and there have been instances where people have seen the back of this and grabbed it and been and been like what's on the back of you and then thankfully my friends stepped in and they were like oh let's just not talk about that although this brace literally saved me from having a horrible spine i am literally going to focus on only the negatives in this video because that's what i felt that's what all i felt was the negative so when i would be walking in it for a while right here would start to hurt i would have appointments to come and change it a little bit so i could add more padding here or I could kind of trim it down right here but no matter how many changes I made to the brace it only made it worse and it was just horrible and obviously it's rock hard so my friends and I have a joke where it's like Amy's got rock hard abs and they would be like do you have your abs on Amy and I'd be like no and you know I love hugs I'm a person that loves hugs and braces you can't really hug in this it's just weird for them to feel this I'm gonna take this off so on top of all of that, I am a woman. Women, sometimes their stomach hurts and you just can't do anything about it. It hurts like a butt cheek on a stick because you cannot breathe. You just can't breathe. If your stomach is hurting, so you're not like sucking in your stomach or you're not engaging your abs or anything. But just picture it. Your stomach is hurting in like this area. You want to just relax, but you can't because something is squeezing you. It makes it 10 times worse. I'm talking very lightly about this stuff, but it really, it did play a role in my anxiety for sure. You don't want people thinking that you're challenged or disabled because I'm not disabled. I just have this thing that's gonna help, like it's gonna fix me. But I think that was definitely the main reason why I didn't tell everybody that I just had a back brace. You know, looking back on it, it's just kind of silly. It's, it's hard to explain. And there would be instances where, like I said, I couldn't really sit on the floor. So I sat in a chair instead. Just like picture being 11, 12, 13 year old girl sitting in a chair when everybody else the 
whole room, the whole room in the multi-purpose room was sitting on the floor. It, it wasn't fun at all. Like I couldn't sit next to my friends. I was alone and I am definitely self-conscious when I'm alone because I feel so cool when I'm with my friends. My friends are the only thing that makes me cool. It was the sitting alone. It was people bumping into you and being like, what was that noise? Not being able to sit on the ground like a perfectly normal teenage girl would usually be able to do and I, I, I in other people's eyes I was a normal teenage girl and it was all good but no I had this thing attached to me I couldn't play heads up seven up at the end of the year you know it was like the little things that really ticked me off and it was also the feeling of sitting in a chair when I had my brace off and saying this is what it feels like for everybody else dressing out for PE people would look at you and be like she's kind of what is she wearing underneath her brace and it was probably all my imagination but it was very real back then another huge thing was I could not wear the things that I wanted to wear and the things that everybody else was wearing so I picked out a few outfits just to like show you how difficult it was shopping so like I couldn't wear something like this because although it is flowy the neck holes they're large and it would be poking up in the back as well I couldn't wear something like this because you could see right through it also the neck holes are large and then here are a few things that I could wear things this I didn't wear very often because it was a little tight and it was all very flowy very coveraged you couldn't wear a shirt with just a bra under it. You always had to have a tank top, which made me so hot. And let's not even talk about the sweat that I acquired on my back over those years. I think one of the most embarrassing and ego demolishing was I couldn't tie my own shoes. I would go over to my friends and I'd be like, can you please tie my shoes? Every time I dropped a pencil on the floor, what did I do? I couldn't pick it up. No one understood that I could not pick up that pencil. There would be times when the pencil is literally right here on the floor and I just can't do this. Like I'm stuck here. It's literally like inches away from my fingertips and I'll have to ask a random kid to pick that pencil up for me. And I probably should have said this in the at the beginning of the video, but if it weren't for my brace, I would have had to get surgery. Although I definitely think having one surgery, having to recover would have been way easier than wearing this brace for two, three, for two-ish years. There would be problems in the future and I just don't want to deal with that. Hey guys, so this is me editing it. I really like droned on and on for a really long time so I'm just going to kind of stop. So here's the outro. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have scoliosis, remember you're gonna be alright. But anyway, my birthday is next week and I am hoping to vlog that for you because isn't that just the best birthday present, having vlog content? Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Oh, bye bye